Hey, it's Ronnie Nijme here from PLR.me. I want to show you some very simple, very basic email formatting tips that will really help with readability of your emails. Okay, so what I have in front of me here is an email that I wrote. Now, there are some tricks to this already out of the gate. So first of all, uh, the first trick, what fonts, what software am I using? Now, I'm on a Mac. Uh, I like to write these emails in text edit. I don't know why I just get I just have gotten used to it over the years. Um, I, I do think that writing it in Word can Microsoft Word can actually introduce some issues, some formatting issues. Uh, I find that a, a basic, simple text editor has worked well. Um, what fonts? Well, you'll notice here if I select this, this is Arial. I'm using Arial and I'm using size 19. It seems huge and it kind of is, but it also makes it a lot more readable, especially depending on your demographic. I mean, if you're talking to people who are uh, a little bit older, well, it's a lot easier to read. And I know from, for even for myself, I, um, I find that it's a lot easier to read, especially on a mobile device. So it doesn't matter on the age, uh, young and old, it is a lot easier to read. Okay, notice something else. I don't use line breaks. You can see if I stretch this out, there are no line breaks. Uh, there was, uh, back in the day, you know, we would, uh, we would actually have line breaks, hard returns, doing something like this to make it really narrow. But the problem is actually on mobile, it looks really bad. It actually can look really choppy uh, and it really breaks the experience on mobile devices, iPhones, iPads, Android devices, and so on. Uh, I'm going to get to this. This is really important. The specific browser that I use that maintains the formatting when pasting and no, they are not all the same. Okay, I'm going to get to that. Uh, I use Aweber uh, so your mileage may vary here, but I'm going to show you the secret HTML code um, that I use um, to, that looks great on mobile, that looks great on a desktop, and I'm going to use the old school editor feature within Aweber. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this email here, and I'm going to hop over. I'm going to show you the, the wrong way to go about it because oftentimes we just think, well, this is just how it is. Um, if I were to open up, for example, Firefox, and if I were to paste in the text, you'll see, well, it's not bad, but I lost all that formatting. You'll notice I had bolding and I had um, hyperlinks and all of that good stuff. It's gone. And in fact, depending on even where you paste, um, it can really mess things up. And that's why I don't use Firefox um, or even Chrome for, uh, for, for putting in these emails. Again, I'm on a Mac, so your mileage may vary if you're on a Windows machine. But let me show you Safari, my little secret weapon. Um, if I paste in this text, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but Safari keeps that formatting. And you'll see it has all the bolding. It even has all the hyperlinks. So it's a, a really good strategy um, to, to go. So that's the, 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 the first step. If I were to go back to the document, um, I just select all, I choose Arial, I choose a font size of 19, and then I just write that email, um, I introduce any bolding that I want. You'll notice I use a lot of short lines. Um, we don't want big, long paragraphs because that looks like a contract and people don't like to read contracts, right? That's why they made contracts text heavy, uh, long, huge paragraphs, small font, and that's why it's not really meant to be readable. I want my emails and I want your emails to be readable. So short, punchy, um, large font size also helps you to write in that way as well because you don't want to have a big paragraph of uh, at a big font size as well. Okay, so in Safari, I copy and I paste it in. Guess what? Now my formatting looks pretty good. Now there is a secret weapon in here because in the source code, and some, this is a little bit geeky, a little bit geeky, not bad at all, there is this little bit of code here. You can actually safely ignore the rest of this, uh, but you'll notice this little tiny bit of code. It says, uh, it has a, uh, the, the triangular bracket, div space style equals quotation width colon 400 px uh, quotation and square uh, or triangular bracket, whatever they call that, caret or I don't know what they call it. Okay, so what does this do? Well, the long and short of it is that it sets the width to be no more than 400 pixels. And what does 400 pixels looks like? Well, it looks like this. And you'll see here that it looks like I have hard line breaks, but I don't. It's all it's doing is setting the width based on sort of a box, an invisible box. And if I were to draw a line, that box is probably around here. And to show you what I mean, uh, I have a little 
pixel calculator thing here, and uh, I've, I've zoomed in on my screen, so this number is not going to be accurate at all because I, I want the video to be readable, but if I make the, make the screen a little bit smaller, you'll see. This is 400 pixels right here. Okay, so it's maybe hard to see that right now, but it's 400, that's 400 pixels, that, that width there. So um, that means that the text will automatically wrap once it hits about 400 pixels. You don't need to know why. You don't need to care about the technology of that. All you need to do is within the HTML editor of Aweber or whatever you're using, you set your width. Okay, set your width. Um, and here is the width, div style width of, of 400 pixels. And at the bottom of the email, you'll see here that I have somewhere um, another closing div. This is a little tiny, tiny bit technical. So I'll just kind of make it a little bit clearer for you. This closes the tag and this starts the tag and anything in between that is going to be a width of 400 pixels. It's all you need to know. That is a secret weapon. Um, and if I were to, again, you can scroll through this, you can see it's going to, it's only going to be that wide. It's not going to be wider than 400 pixels. So, well, what does that mean? Well, let me show you. I um, have my iPhone here. I, uh, this is an example of a, of a previous email. You'll see that it looks really clean, really easy to read. In fact, it looks a lot better in my hand than it does uh, on the screen. The, the font size is large, very nice, very clean, very easy to read. And guess what? Because of the, the paragraphs are short, the font is large. What happens is it encourages me to keep scrolling, to keep reading, because I keep I want to I want to find out what's going on. I want to read the whole thing. Now, some emails that I receive, some emails that you may even be sending don't look like this. They look like big blobs of text, small font, big paragraphs, and that is not readable. We want to encourage readability, okay? As I said in this email here, formatting is important. Uh, decreased readability equals decreased engagement, which equals decreased sales, and we want people to get excited to read your email, but I also, I want my email to kind of be like a smooth, slippery slide. You want to keep going down smoothly, no bumps, no breaks, um, when you do when you do it that way, people will actually read your email. They'll consume it. They'll get excited, and they'll want to continue reading your future emails. Okay, so the last trick here is I'm using the old editor in Aweber. So if you're using Aweber, uh, and if you click on this little carrot thing here, uh, it does not work with, with the drag and drop editor. It does not work with the drag and drop editor. Um, the plain text is, well, no, it's just going to be plain text. It's not, it's not going to, you're not going to have any bolding. You're not going to have, be able to set the width or anything like that. You could code your own HTML, but this is a lot easier. If you click on previous message editor, so you have to just click on this little um, arrow, previous message editor, this is what it looks like. It's not pretty, but it's, it works. In, on a Mac, in Safari, I can copy and paste my text. It retains all formatting. Um, what I do is I just copy each email. Um, so if I were to go here and click on copy, um, it makes a copy of it. And if I look in the source code, so even if the email is blank, if I look at the source code, all I need to do, see this div stuff, this is what's important. That's the part that makes it look really great on mobile as well. All I need to do is just in this email is, is um, paste and boom, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to send. So uh, of course the, the other side of it is in the plain text, I would do the same thing. I would paste. Uh, I would just make sure that any links uh, that are included are included in the text, um, the text uh, version as well. And that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything I wanted to. Uh, so the, the fonts I use, Arial, size 19. I use text edit on the Mac. You could use a Google Docs, you could use Microsoft Word. I found that um, oftentimes it introduces weird formatting issues, issues with lines, uh, breaks, that, you know, no, imagine pasting in an email and there are no breaks, everything's kind of like that. Um, uh, or other issues, just weird formatting things that happen. So that's why I use text edit, I use um, Arial font size 19, and I use um, Safari. For, for pasting in Aweber because it just retains that formatting. I don't know why Firefox, Chrome does not, they're not all the same, I don't know why, but that's my secret weapon. Uh, I do not do any line breaks, and that secret code is that div um, style width 400 pixels. It's around 400 pixels. Sometimes I might stretch it to 450, uh, but usually it's a, I keep it to around 400. And that hidden old school editor, 
that's this ugly beast in Aweber, but it works so well. So that's it. Uh, that's Those are the email formatting tips uh, for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I appreciate you watching this. And if you found it valuable, please like, comment, and share. I really appreciate you. Take care.